before we do this, we're gonna we're gonna read these notes because this is the end, I think. Okay. First, we'll go over the notes. All right. All right. This is probably gonna be its own episode right here. So okay. Where are we at? If I die. <clears throat> I effed up. Oh god, where am I? Hours could have passed, or we brain fill with static. This is this is well, this is me. I think writing. Uh -huh. I have to get help. Have to call for help, Lisa. I'm sorry if I die. I know you'll find me. I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera with my corpse. I hope the evidence on it does what I couldn't expose the truth. Lisa, I'm sorry. I effed up. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I effed up bad. Is it because I think he told? Oh, hold on. The radio in the prison. There's a radio in the prison, shortwave. If it's electronic, I can make it talk, make it work for me. There's hope. Lisa, I'm coming home to you. My mistake was subtlety, like you always said. I thought leaking information to a few journalists was a safer way. I didn't want the spotlight attention Murkoff is dangerous. I know that I thought I had to be subtle for your sake, Lisa, for the boys, but I should have exposed what Murkoff is doing to the world. I should have shouted to anyone and everyone. I can't die. Not before I reach the radio. They can't cover this up now. It's too broken. It's too dangerous. The doctors are sick. I've never seen a man die before today, never seen a dead body outside of a coffin, dozens today, murdered and worse. I look into one man's eye and another tore him to pieces, claimed he was a doctor, then saw the rags they dressed me in and changed his story. <coughs> Said he was a patient, could have been either. They're all crazy, all sick, no real difference between them now. The therapy is spreading, what am I? I watched this man die and only thought, it's not me, thank God. I, I know I'll die someday, I don't, want, I don't want to be murdered. Holy crap. Oh yeah, this is to do with the buzz yeah. off. Don't ask, don't ask to see my body, Lisa, when I die. When you finish the lawsuits that let you pry this footage from Murkoff's army of lawyers and corporate hitmen, don't make them show you my body. Just bury it or burn it. Let my sons remember me whole. That man is eating human flesh. He looks at me and I see anger. A little desire, but more than anything, hunger. Please don't make them show you my body. Because I think, I think every single time I think I'm going to die. Yeah. Varying effects. Lisa, or whoever finds us, know that Murkov is making monsters. I've never seen the patients after they've gone through that German so-called therapy, the engine, so much worse than I could have imagined. They may still be human, but something's been ripped out of them, and too many other things pushed back in. They were not all murderers. They were sick, but they weren't killers. Murkov made them monsters. Dr. Ross had said that the engine had varying effects. I think he was the dude from the beginning yeah. who had me go in there and fix it. Variant outcomes too erratic for any sort of prediction. I took it in an idle cafeteria small talk. Raul's endless chatter. I should have listened. Down, down, down. This was a Father Martin. Somebody who looks as much like a priest as this place looks like an asylum, writing instructions on the wall, talking about God, tells me not to be afraid. How is I ever part of this hum inhuman BS, greed-driven moral genocide? These monsters Murkov ripped, uh, ripped from tortured minds, the lengths they're jacked, booted, and business school worms will go to protect it. Their own men slaughtered. I've never prayed in my life, Lisa, but if some small-minded interventionist is listening, kill Jeremy Blair before I die, which must be him. Yeah. Sanity and avarice. There's no pain he doesn't deserve. There is no radio, no hope of reaching the outside. Oh, wait, could I just keep going? Dang it. Could I just keep going, like, next to the next note, I think? I don't know. Oh. Oh, shoot! I've been missing something. What? World only escape. Oh, oh, let me finish. Some of these have next pages. I think you got them all. Yeah. Okay. So we were at burning lights. Yep. Power still on electricity. I, I need to think, Lisa. I thought the power was evidence that some man or some human force still controlled some small part of Mount Masso, but nothing human or sane can do anything here but survive. And even that, not for long. You're always the reasonable one, Lisa. You would tell me to calm down to take a larger view. Madness and inhumanity rule this place. Whatever is keeping the electricity flowing is trying to trap me here. I need to shut it down again. So, the dude who was at the electricity, he was just a... Uh, I didn't think he was any of the like main villains. Yeah. He was just some dude. Back inside, like the harder I try to escape, the deeper I get. Dead men aren't a surprise anymore. Suicides seem wise. What fresh uh, heal. A man's a man's body mutilated and bent to mimic or mock the moments of birth. The yeah, kind of thing a man cannot see without changing in some irreparable <laughs> way. Lisa, I was with you when both our boys were born. It was until recently the most miraculous thing I had seen. Completely outside of reasonable belief, and yet somehow central to everything I've come to believe. Since you always said I was too literal minded, try to turn everything into an if then statement. Lately I've widened my horizons. How can the things I've seen here be? But I know the answer money, profit, things we made just because we could. Bluebeard's wife? 
Oh, that's whatever that dude's name is. Bodies hanging like wet laundry, like skinned rabbits, men mutilated, hunted, and murdered. The shortest distance between any two points separates violence and ruined lust. Whatever story he's telling himself, he's not making women to bear these children. He's making women to kill them. Lisa, I want you to burn this place and any evidence that ever exists at the ground. Destroy the Murkoff Corporation. Bury it in shame. Take away its money. Wipe it from history. This man thinks he's in love. He thinks the therapy made him better. Everything reeks of death and fear. Uh, pee and coppery blood. Meat decomposing. <laughs> okay. The widower. He is dead. The amateur surgeon father to be husband. His guts shredded and pulled from his belly. I'm trying not to laugh. Oh God, Lisa, I swear to you, I'm trying. So I think I'm becoming insane just by seeing this stuff. It's yeah. making me insane. Burning church. Chapel on fire in the distance. I didn't even know we had a church. Where's good when you need him? Serve and protect the cops. Corporate cops, mercenaries, private military contractors, wherever they call them now, they're as helpless as the rest of us. Need to get out. Escape. Yeah, that's the end because the front door is like right there. Jeremy Blair. Jeremy Blair, my supervisor's supervisor, a man who'd seen me... Who see me skin salted and raped for a promotion and a few martinis injured dying if he's not already dead I'm trying to feel sorry for him really I am but there's no way in hell he's stopping me from getting out of this godforsaken place I'm coming home Lisa so this is the end yeah so run past him <laughs> run past him yep yeah cause I think he'll try and kill me alright resignation of Wayland Park oh shoot Miss Grant oh say so this is to someone Grant this is from me, right? No, this is from Jeremy Blair, too. Yeah. Someone. You may receive a request for information from Miss Lisa Park of Leadville, Colorado, in the coming weeks concerning the resignation and hospitalization of her husband, Waylon. If so, please forward them to my personal attention. Oh, because he, remember, he, yeah, he sent me here. Waylon Park, former consulting contract, eight, resigned due to previously undiagnosed mental illness. I personally visited Miss Lisa Park and her sons and broke the news to them with the silver lining that Murkoff Psychiatric would be graciously providing treatment. Mrs. Park had some less than charitable things to say about myself and the Murkow Corporation. I assured her that with her power of attorney, she could try to fight the doctor's diagnosis of her husband's illness. However, if it were discovered that he resigned under false pretenses, his insurance would be canceled and the family would be saddled with non-insignificant health care debts. Hopefully she understood, but if she insists on making a nuisance of herself or tries to get around me, please let me know. This one I want to take care of personally. Hmm. What a fake... Gender selection transcribed from the forensic revision of benefits ongoing lawsuit author Ethan. This is a request of specific legal consultation on the ongoing lawsuit by Melissa Cho against Murkoff Charitable Psychi Psychiatry Inc. At the time of Mrs. Cho's termination, the psychosomatic effects of morphogenic engine on female employees and patients had been well established. Already more than seven female employees and patients had reached fictitious half-term pregnancies in a matter of weeks before miscarrying to non-existent children, five of them fatally. Female employees were moved to higher floors in the facility, then to other buildings and eventually entirely off of the Mount Massive facility. The critical secrecy of Project Wallrider necessitated secrecy and motivating factor for the reassignments and termination, <gasps> resulting in perceived injustice from several terminated parties. Ms. Cho has succeeded in acquiring a court-ordered FOTA release of the documents surrounding her termination. Those documents will need to be generated and post-dated, providing ameliorating information while skirting irrelevant secrecies of the project. Please advise Ethan. Okay, I don't know who this guy is. Ex uh, Father Clark. Okay, so this isn't Father Martin. Yeah. Is it him? I don't think Father so. Clark? No, so it's not him. Far as to be to lie the man, fly to a man of God, so let me at least say that I will do my personal best to improve the safety of your work years. I and the rest of the staff truly appreciate everything you do for our patients. If you feel threatened by anybody in particular, simply let us know and we can either increase chemical restraints or administer a lobotomy or similar calling procedure. Don't underestimate the contribution your sermons offer our patients. Father Clark, no, Father Martin. This is someone else, right? Yeah. Father Clark Martin? I don't know. Especially considering the depth and not necessary chaotic nature of hypnotherapy, our patients need the bedrock of God and family. Not all of our poor unfortunates have families to call upon, and so the burden and calling is yours. We are all of us relying on your faith and hard work. Dr. Newhouse. Never heard of him. Lesser known ecological aspects of humanity. The p political use of psychochemical and political action operations is well recognized, although it has not been explored as thoroughly as it might be expected. Chemical division includes it as an objective of its program to be prepared to support or make such operations possible. Non-chemical methods of accomplishing political action operations are also included in the program. 
President above May McCol McCulture excerpt of technical services. Oh, okay, Wernicke, here we go. Officers continue research and research of Dr. Rudolf Wernicke and Project Walter. An autopsy of recovered test subjects shows chemical content of bodies metallic tumor tumor. Metallic tumors, okay. Evidence of a subdermal combustion that indicates heavy psychochemical dosage. See no Project Water, patient status report from Frank Manera. Therapy status, minimal morphogenic engine activity and only at extreme stages, five to six levels of hormone therapy. Dream states return repeatedly to images of isolation and betrayal, zero lucid state, heavy bronchial accumulation consistent with patients with histories of tobacco and marijuana, exceptionally low REM, so low uh, dream. Mm -hmm, dream sleep. Time of this interview, Frank was down to 150 pounds from his admission weight of 228. So how many pounds? That's like 20. That's like seven over 70 pounds he lost. He was lethargic and largely non-responsive, exhibiting interest only in the hypnotherapy script pattern nine. Wernicke, do you think that's the thing? You think that's the thing that I see? Do you remember when I was walking around in the beginning? I kept like that th that vision that like thing kept flashing. Yeah, that might be. I'm thinking that's what like these people see. Drinking blood from the chest of sleeping men. He continues to refuse baths or the attention of a barber outside of general anesthesia, stating, If I cannot partake, I cannot share. Recommend forced nutrition for Mr. Minera if we cannot find something he likes to eat. Is that the, That's not the cannibal guy, is it? Yeah, it might be, actually. He only drinks the blood out of a person's chest? Sounds like him. Yeah. Frank Minera. Wall Rider Kurt. Wall Rider Delusion. This is Billings to... Uh, Kurt Vigliando. Kurt, we've got another one, and I'm not sure you're going to be able to check it off as psychopathic proximity disorder. Security guard all the way up in the admin block is our latest non-patient employee to start seeing Wernicke's fairy tales. He was never directly exposed to the engine, never even made it below level one in the building. It would be an enormous breach of protocol and security if doctors were speaking of the wall rider within hearing of a contracted security guard. It seems vanishingly improbable that he would stumble onto such an obscure mythological story as on. It's too similar to the Dr. Samuel case or the others before him. It's the one thing for formerly sane medical personnel to fall under the delusion of their patients. It's another thing for entire for those beliefs to be, I don't know, airborne. We need to talk in person, Billings. Okay. Kill us. This one sounds interesting. Kill us, burn the building. Worse than death here. Kill us, kill us. Wow. Wow. Beyond hope. So this is... So this is about from Helen Granat to Group 84. Dear sir, the groundwork has been laid to ensure an uneventful egress for Rudolf Wernicke from structural and financial systems on Mount Mazza. Okay, so they're gonna so they're gonna start talking about Wernicke like phasing him out, like basically uh, yeah. getting him to retire. Uh, his advanced age should alleviate any suspicions among contractors and employees, among whom he has been cheerfully nicknamed the Crypt Keeper. And legally speaking, he died years ago. What? He's still alive though. Yeah. People, I think people thought he died, or you wanted people to think he died. I understand patients 1436-8, 1427-9-1, and 1486-8-1 have already been scheduled for transit. We're all terribly excited at the obvious profit potential of the new project. My researchers have combed through Wernicke's files and found no mention of the three lucid dreamers. I think we can safely assume Wernicke was sufficiently distracted by the part success of patient Billy Hope with his own infirmity to be ignorant of the real discovery at hand. Even minimal exploitation of these resources is hard to overestimate. I only hope the new facility is sufficiently shielded to allow female staff so I can see what comes with my own eyes. So they're shutting this down or I don't the new the, the new they're facility. A new one, I think. Okay. Outlast two, bud. Three blind dreamers. Oh, this, what, yeah, these are the three patients. I think one of them was Billy and the other yeah. two might have died. Because that's what she was saying in the last one. Okay, this makes sense now. So there was three of them. I think there was, if at the end of the the main game, there's three pods, too, at the end. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. is there? Uh -huh. So that's the, so I, wait, it was at the beginning of this game, too. It was at the beginning of the Yeah, we saw the three world. pods, okay. Triple black security protocols included chemical restraints, physical restraints, and separate adaptive hyperbaric chambers are to be used at all time in transit. Chemical stimulation is highly recommended for all personnel. Within 500 meters of the patients, attempts at communication should be assumed to be hallucinations and disregarded. Facial disfigurement should not be taken as a sign of lost acuity. 
They are physically blind but not unseeing. Note, security clearances for Project Walter are not applied to information regarding patients. Those three. New security clearances will be issued and appropriate protocol assigned. Okay. I'm going to see what's going on. I'm going to save it real quick and end it here. And then I'm going to redo. I'm going to start another uh, episode because we've been playing for a long time. So. But if this uh, is the end. Then this will be the last episode. But. All right. We did a whole session there of this. It's probably been like two hours. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to cut it up at certain points and then just edit it uh, together. And then this last part was just going to be us reading the uh, the files and whatnot notes. So pretty interesting. So I will catch you guys in the next episode where we hopefully kill this guy. Oh, man, he did. <laughs>